Okay, we're here on Lake of the Woods. It's early May uh, at my little camp uh, on the central part of the lake. Um, had to break ice to get here, actually. Uh, goal of the day today, once we warm up, is um, to catch some bass casting. So early in the year, they're obviously deep right when the ice goes, usually, especially on Lake of the Woods. Uh, you can catch them dropping on them, but I want to stand up and actually engage with some fish instead of just being like a walleye guy sitting on them all day working on my tiller belly so yeah gonna stand up get a few steps in today and rifle a few casts this is the new lake master ontario version 2 map chip a uh, big hype around this thing i get asked all the time what the difference is between this and uh say navionics so i'll just show you uh, here's the Lake Master Ontario, super high detail, one foot contours, good to go. Chart, map source, Contour XD, this is the old Navionics style, and it's looking pretty rough. So, pretty much the deal with uh, these spring smallmouth that ice out, um, is they're going to be penned up near wintering holes, um, structure near deep water, uh, it helps if there's some spawning bays around. Um, the bait I started with is uh, it's a homemade half ounce ball head uh, with a two odd owner and a four inch Z-Man laminate swimmers. Um, I just bomb it across these humps and uh, let it go down near the bottom using 12 pound fluoro so the whole deal sinks and it can kind of stay parallel with the bottom um and it's a pretty painful wind especially like with how cold it is out and everything and uh these things are kind of like old potatoes sitting on the bottom so so one thing that i noticed uh throwing the swim bait through these big schools of bass is that i was pulling a lot of them off the structure um they were just kind of spudding along behind it and you'd get the odd one to bite but it definitely didn't have a very good uh conversion rate um so i kind of swallowed my pride and and just wheeled up right on top of them put a five inch z-man uh jerk shads on a bt fishing smeltinator head a quarter ounce with a three odd hook and that's kind of the deadly combo like that's been a pretty big secret up here for a lot of years um it's starting to get popular now, so I don't, uh, I don't mind sharing. Um, part of the deal with it is that it, uh, it floats like that Z-Man plastic. So, um, the whole rig stays perfectly horizontal. Um, that was always an issue before with just conventional plastic. Um, you get way more bites on it. Like it's noticeable. And another thing, and I think it's the best part about it is just the durability of it. I put a dab of super glue at the head and I mean, every bass I caught today, uh, on that bait was all, it's all on the same bait. Uh, I didn't have to change it once. It, it'll probably still be good for a few more days. Uh, you can just drop it right back down and on these big schools, uh, with the ability to get it back down there that fast like that's how you really cream them that's how you get a lights out day important feature get in your sonar menu carry this baby on you that's your fish id get that sucker on sensitivity better do 10.
show fish ID how are you supposed to know what a fish looks like. There's an actual fish He's showing that they're all at the top. Uh, I don't know who to believe. And I got one. Thanks for watching. Check out the link in this video and in the description below for all the gear.